Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Mel, hanging out with you. Right now, it's March the 10th. Yeah, it's March the 10th, and I'm hanging out with you right now, 8.40 p.m., and the thing is, we got a big thing today, okay? We got a guest named Jimmy. Now, Jimmy's an amazing maple story. You know all the maple story, right? He's awesome. I mean, like, he's not a good fang blade or something, because his fang blade is the best, like, level 196 or something. But he's an amazing maple story. And now we're going to talk to him, and we're going to interview him, and maybe he'll want a few questions from me. Now, let's see. Look, he's calling us right now. Hello, Jimmy, and welcome to Miller's Talk Show. really famous around but I haven't heard many people talking but probably it's gonna be famous thank you well, I appreciate that it's really, it's really an honor to be here I'm very happy that this is my first webcast you know I'm happy I'm very happy that's all I can say yeah and all I can say is that I'm very happy to have on, on, on talking and even on a video it's really fun yeah I know and it's really fun to have you here yeah. now Everybody, I mean, like, pretty much everybody in my school and all of that, maybe even other schools, we all know you because you're an amazing Maple Storian. What inspired you to become Maple Storian level 19, soon becoming level 196, possibly like Fangblade? What inspired you to, to perspire that dream? I don't really know. But all I know is. If there's a creature, there is someone to attack the creature. That's all I know, Miller. Yep. And all I know is that's awesome, because attacking stuff is awesome. Yep. See? Just like this little tiny blue bowl. I will attack it. <coughs> so it's awesome. Now. So, now what? So aren't you going to ask me, like, questions, or I ask you some questions, right? Well... Uh, you know, I've heard that you told me that you wanted some questions. But the thing is, I'll ask you the questions first. And then we can go on to your questions that you want to know about the show, the, the lighting, or, you know, like, boxers or brief questions, retarded stuff like that. Um, yeah. A lot of people want to know, um, if you've ever met Fangblade, the great Maple Storian. Yeah, I have heard a lot of rumors, and I have seen a lot of videos about Fangblade. But one thing I've never done was meeting Fangblade. I hope to see one day to meet Fangblade. Fangblade is, is really strong. He's, he's, he can kill, like, I guess he could kill almost everything. Well, some stuff he can kill, or maybe he could kill everything. I'm not sure. Right now, I'm pretty sure he's a dark knight now. And, I mean, like, I've heard, and I know that... You can give somebody money from from Maple Story, also known as Mesos or something. It's actually Mesos. Okay, Mesos. But yes, that is real. You could trade and stuff. The question and, is, and there is also a chat room when you are trading, or you could deliver. Let's say. I'm oh, hold on. We, we got the phone here. You got the phone. Okay. <clears throat> Hello. Oh, hey, everybody on YouTube. It's one of my good friends, Ibrahim. What's up, Yeah. What's up, Ibrahim? Right now, you are on YouTube's Miller's Talk Show, episode number three. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, I know. Well, I couldn't make it. Ah, because I'm not daycare anymore. I'm taking the bus home now. Now, do you have any questions for Miller's Talk Show Episode 3? This is going to be airing on the internet. Do you have any questions? <laughs> I said, do you have any questions for Miller's Talk Show Episode 3? We're on the air right now live. Yes. Do you have any questions? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm doing very good at school. He said I'm doing good at school. I'm doing very good at school. So how are you? What inspired you to call Miller's Talk Show Episode 3? Yeah. 
He won't. You want to talk to me? What do you have to tell me? Okay, what thing is? What? They call me weird? What the hell, man? Uh. Okay, well, Abraham, 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 I'm gonna have to call you back because right now I'm on the air with Jimmy. Okay? I'm gonna call you back in five minutes, okay? Bye. Hey, Jimmy, sorry about that little disturbance, but we're back now. Did you hear my slapping? Yes, I heard you slapping. Now, questions. Now, so basically, I gave Maple Story and everything. Now, do you have any questions for the amazing Miller? Well, I have a few questions. My first question is what happens if you put too much vinegar and too much baking soda in one volcano? Wow. I'm talking like. Like something really, really big. Like, like. Like a huge bottle of baking soda and a huge bottle of vinegar. Put it all in one volcano. What would happen? I, I really wonder that. Well, you know, for example. Okay, look. This water bottle here is vinegar and this is baking soda, alright? And this telephone, this telephone right here that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put there is the volcano. Now. If you put a little bit inside and, and another little bit inside, it'll foam up a little bit. And the more, the more, the, the more vinegar and the more baking soda you put, it will it'll make a bigger, a bigger a eruption. So if there was a huge amount, like truckfuls or something, it would probably make a huge avalanche that could, like, an avalanche of this stuff, of this concoction that would probably, you know, like, if it was that big, it would go all over town, man, like, Flood the city or something of really that much. Now, what's your next question? Well, I'm wondering. Speak more into the mouthpiece. What? Speak oh, more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been wondering that how come people are like, they, they say that video games are more important than like, like just sitting down and reading. How come? Not many people just don't sit around and just read a book. Just. Just like, have, just relax. Like, read a book. It's not like you have to play video games for like, like every single minute of your life. You have to read something once in a while. Yeah, well, before I answer your question, I have to say, look who's talking. Okay, because all you do is play Maple Story. But seriously, yeah, I mean, like, I'm like that sort of. I mean, like, I'm both. I play video games a lot, but. For like an hour, two hours, something I like to do is I like to read books. And the certain book I love to read is a Japanese manga that you all know called Bleach. Okay? I know. I've been hearing a, a word on the street tells me that you are one of the, one of the world's craziest Bleach freaks. Yeah, I mean, really like... True? Yeah, it is. My my whole collection of books is over is overwhelming. I have like a bunch of necklaces, and I'm I have a poster in my room, and I, I know bleach means a lot to me. Bleach is awesome. Now we've only got one more minute till it ends. So do you have any other questions to wrap this up? It's because this this has been an amazing honor. But this, it's, it's a dance question. Mouthpiece. Okay, could you could you like? Spin around on the like the floor and spin and spin and spin for at least two minutes. No, but I can totally do that on my chair. Try and do that on your chair then. Okay, I'll do that right now. Let's do that. Oh, Don't stop for two minutes, dude. All right, I can't. I'll I'll, I'll do that, but because we because we only got sixteen seconds. Now let's wrap this up. Well, Jimmy, it's been great talking to you. Really amazing. And I really hope they had a, a good time talking. I had a good time talking to you. Now. I really think I, I, I want to come back one day. All right. Four questions. 
one day.